Evening guys, James here from Axapar London Group. I'm down at our pool facilities. Uh, sun is setting behind me, uh, but this one's just arrived off a lorry, been unwrapped today and excited to bring to market a stock 37XC, a 2021 model. Uh, she's a bare boat currently without engines, so there's a choice of options, although we would recommend on something like this, the twin 300 V8s. Uh, coming in with those engines, we're looking about 256,000 pounds tax paid. And here she is behind us. Platinum grey Brabus colour line trim pack on the hull and the roof. With the Brabus line trim as well. So we've got the black rubbing straight, black rails. Lovely looking boat. Very high spec. Hugely popular model. We literally can't get these fast enough at the moment. Uh, so we've got a bow thruster. We've got grey anti-fouling underneath the hull here, so suitable to live in all year round. We've got the EU anchor winch pack up forward, so we've got the lovely stainless steel ultra style anchor. Obviously as a Brabus line boat here, we've got the smoke badges down the hull and all the rails changed. Just look at the boat next door to us here. This is a, a standard finish with the grey and the Brabus line trim takes that to the black. And that then runs throughout the boat. So every time you upgrade things like the water ski frame at the back here, the fishing rod holders up top, the light gantry, that takes everything to a black finish. It gives the boat a real statement look. Obviously looks a little bare on the aft here without the engines fitted, but say a choice whether you go black or white 300, 350, really the choice is yours. Uh, she's got trim tabs on the back here and you see the additional upgrade of the down vision sonar module there. So that's the upgrade for the glass bridge Simrad navigation system. And obviously an XC has an option, different layouts in the aft cockpit. This particular one here with the day cruiser aft cabin. Uh, there are cushions to go out here and also harbour covers. So the cushions are the standard Silvertex sterling colour, which is very nice, light grey finish. And then the red harbour colour package you'll see throughout the rest of the Axapar range. Really nice backdrop with that sunshine there. You can see the blue LED deck lights running down the side there. Sets it off really nicely in the dark. Um, so outside, both aft lockers, we have hanging space for ropes and, uh, and fenders. There's a, a diesel filler in there for the Webasto heating system. Uh, Ensign staff socket this side. Emergency bilge pump, there's a pull out deck shower there. Fishing rod holders. Uh, we've got twin fire extinguisher points, which will be fitted during PDI. Up top, as mentioned before, we've got the optional rocket launcher Brabus line uh, rod holders there. There's a Marine Co electric remote control spotlight up top. Uh, there's a DSC VHF on board, so twin aerials. Audio packs one and two, so we've got speakers both inside and outside here, both aft cockpit and up on the foredeck. See the nice little touches, part of the Brabus line, things like the little logos on the cleats here. And as with all 37 XCs now, wider decks, larger doors in the side here, handy little step to get out over the gunnels. It's a very safe boat. If you drop down here, you imagine yourself with dogs and young kids and what have you. It's a very secure, sure-footed boat to walk around. Um, I haven't put the cushions out just as it's been raining and I didn't want to get the boat any wetter than it already is, but we've got the, the standard seat here. This is the optional extended seating box which also has storage space underneath and then we have the anchor locker forward there's a cushion that sits on here with a nice little curve over the front you can see the led nav lights up forward there great size locker really handy it's split so you can put the anchor the other side of that bulkhead with the chain and then this is plenty of space for cleaning kit, say storing your fenders. But of course comes with a, with a mooring package. So we've got fenders in here, we've got lines. Um, there's a plug in here for the 240 volt 
main system, a breaker for the anchor winch. Of course, you've got a control here and the remote control that comes as part of the bow thruster package. And then the optional gull wing doors. So under these two hatches here, just lift this up. So you've got access either into the cabin from here or it's nice ventilation if you're coming in from the main cabin itself. Handy place to climb into the boat. See up top this, now we've got the up close on the platinum grey, the Mark two boats here with this nice, easy to grab hold of side deck. There's um, space up top here for a solar panel if you wish. And then the large opening centre sunroof above. It's got the winter storage cover on at the moment. Come back aft. You'll notice the decks are in the standard white non-slip at the moment. It's easy enough to retrofit a full S-Tech package if you wish. And then we come inside. Lots of videos on my channel already of these, so I'm not going to dwell on all the, the general gen, um, features and benefits of the model. I think it's been very well announced in the press over the last 11 months since the boat was launched back at Dusseldorf. Uh, suffice to say, it's a very high spec boat, so we've got things like the, the full glass bridge Simrad display here. So rather than surface mount units, these are inlaid behind a glass panel. Really nice touch, so linked in with the depth transducer. Lovely LED switches, so it really sets this off doing this in the, in the twilight hours. This is um, Webasto diesel heating system here, so we've got windscreen demisters up top, and we've also got low level vents throughout the boat here. Loads of, loads of heating outlets, very usable all year round, even here in the, the winter months. Uh, so bow thruster control, trim tabs, space on the dash here to have the vessel view upgrade added if you wish. Uh, we've got the one touch Webasto electric opening sunroof and down here the um, immobilizer system so it's got mercury's upgrade pack with the um, active trim system fly-by-wire throttles here so very easy maneuvering one finger in and out of gear both engines controlled together on the trim there or here you got independent controls of course somewhere for kill cord as well vhf speaker there's a drop down plinth here at the helm for those that want a little bit more height to see over the dash when running, although these do run very flat. And then we have the optional heads compartment in here. Uh, we don't have the shower at the moment. It could be retrofitted, but most owners elect to take these as we spec them. So this particular boat is just this current area is a walk through to the forward cabin where you've got the center line double bed. And obviously the, the roof height steps down as you go further forward. These lift up either side just to give you a bit more room on this end of the bed. We've got a stereo here. These are um, EU two pin electric two 20 volt plug sockets. Uh, we've got some speakers up in the ceiling you'll see. And it's the LED ambient light package. So you can see now those lights all the way around the ceilings. Spectacular boats, these really, really usable in all climates. Very clever, lots of little touch evolutions from the, the Mark I boats, which were hugely popular. Just improvements everywhere. Very difficult to find fault. Uh, there is an option to have the boat as standard with the seating returned in this corner, and then the loo would be underneath one of the seats, or as this boat expect you've got the enclosed heads compartment here. So behind the door, there's an electric Jabsco toilet system, uh, main breaker panel up on the wall there. Comfort pack, so we've got the nice finishes on the walls, little sink there, it's part of the fresh water system. Another control here for the stereo, a little plug-in for your mobile phone and then back into the saloon we've got the additional upgrade on the Dometic fridge there. Uh, these two seats can rotate around 180 degrees so as she doesn't have the galley pack which would take up all the, the center space here say seats can spin around and then you get this big seating area around the table 
and obviously these are quite versatile with a drop down to use either for seating or standing and if we just stand at the helm here drop this dash back down you get a feel now of that glorious panoramic view very easy to drive these single-handed you've got a nice midships cleat here so very easy just to loop a line on control of your bow thruster on a remote very very easy to dock a massive opening doors here this was a significantly improved access over the original boats and then you'll see with the aft cabin package here so the seat is stored currently up in the the ceiling here and that gives us then a nice access loads of space to drop down into the centerline double bed yeah battery system runs throughout the lower storage lockers beneath the bed there uh, so you've got batteries for each engine two service batteries and the option to say if you want to add the solar at any stage there's a plug socket tucked around on the port side of the boat you'll see the white heaters in the videos there just to keep the damp out through the winter and then we've got big windows either side here there's two skylights up in the ceiling there underneath what would be the sunbed cushions outside just allows you to get a bit of ventilation in the evenings Say what a cracking boat, very nicely specced, say about £256,000 ink vat as you see uh, with a pair of black 300 engines. Uh, the white engines add about £1,000 an engine to the cost if you want to do something a little bit different. Um, or you can go up to the 350s, it's a slightly older tech now but does give you a bit more speed for those, uh, those of you that want to get around even faster than the standard boat with the 300s, which is doing around 47 knots. So it's a pretty quick boat, cruising very nicely around 30, 35 knots, where you're burning about 60 litres an hour. So complete package. If you want to beat the waiting list, if you don't want to spec a boat, say it's ticking probably 75% of the available options that the factory do on this model. So if you'd like to know any more, so it's james at axaparlondongroup.com or my mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven uh, drop me a message we can go through the specs on this boat uh, we've also got a white boat coming in imminently um, if you don't like the gray um, or we could do an open spec boat for later part of the summer next year so uh, yeah it's a great opportunity and um, hope you enjoyed the tour today and we look forward to hearing from you